Llama models have become a forgotten memory, but the name lives on. So much so that even your favorite channel has the logo as Llama coming out of this fire ring. The name Llama has become quite catchy, playful, and memorable compared to purely technical acronyms, and that is why still people are naming their tool after Llama. And this video covers Llama CTL, which we are going to install locally. It is a unified management and routing for various tools Llama.cpp, MLX, and VLLM. And I will also be talking about these two. Meta's Llama models, which primarily stands for Large Language Models Meta AI, introduced the name. And it quickly became iconic in the AI community. So, what exactly is this Llama CTL then? Llama CTL is a unified orchestration tool which has been designed to simplify the management and routing of large language models across different backends. It provides a modern web dashboard for visual oversight, making it far easier than relying on CLI only tools. With features like simultaneous multi model serving. Um, on-demand instance launching, persistence across restarts, and API key-based authentication. This enables seamless deployment and scaling of LLMs. But I think best would be to show you how exactly it works. Let me get it installed. Now, as I said, this primarily is sort of a wrapper on different backends like VLLM, Llama.cpp, or MLX. If you don't know what those are, just go to my channel. For instance, for VLLM, just search with it and you should be able to find a complete video of what VLLM is, how to get it installed locally and how to run it in this video. And for Llama.cpp, you can watch this video which will make you a hero from zero in no time. And same goes for MLX, I also have covered it. Uh, and that is primarily for the Mac OS. So I'm assuming that if you're following along, you all already have both of these VLLM and Llama.cpp installed. Let me take you to my local system where I have one, uh, where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04, but you can use it on Windows and Mac too. I have one GPU card NVIDIA H100 with 80 GP of VRAM, courtesy masked compute. If you're looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very affordable price, you can find the link in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. So please do check them out as that helps a lot. So let's first install Llama CTL. I'm just going to download it with wget and then install it. Okay, so it says that it couldn't find it. I think it. Uh, I need to install that uh, command first. This. And it seems that the doc, you know the command which they have given is wrong. So what I'm going to do, you see that I just checked what exactly is the latest release available from their GitHub and I will drop the link to it in video description. From there, run this command and this is going to download the proper V uh, version 0.7.0. And Llama CTL is now installed. And if you are doing it later on, just check the latest releases from their page and get the actual version number. Now, the first step would be to simply just go to the terminal and this is a URL which it will run. But first step is to run it from uh, your terminal, just something like this. And you can see that now it is listing out port 8080. Also, you would just need this management key. And for inference, you would need this key. So let me comes with some sort of security. There you go. So first you would just need to grab this management key. Uh, I'll just go up a little bit and then maybe grab this. So much for the security. Let's go here and log in. And of course, there are no ins um, instances at the moment. I'm not running any model or uh, through llama.cpp or vllm. And let me make it a bit bigger so that we should be able to see it more properly. And the first step would be just, just click on create instance. And you can just say maybe, you know, my llama cpp. 
and i'll just scroll down max restart just keep it as is and then keep coming down this is where you select your backend type so it could be llama server and i'm just going to go mlx or vllm i'm just going to go with llama server at the moment and then um, just keep it as is no need to import settings this is where you can specify your model and you can also specify the whole repo i will just get it from the hugging face shortly and this is the hugging face file because normally you know it comes into context format in a gtf which you can specify and then how much you want to offload to gpu and then there are a few advanced options where you can define aliases some of the other hyper parameters and stuff so let's go to hugging face and grab the model name so let's say this is a hugging face for quen 3 8 billion in context format from this repo i'm just going to grab this model name here i'll go here and then i'm just going to specify it in the model uh, or hugging face repo let's do this one so this is the one and if i go back i need a file name for that i'm just going to grab this file name i'm just going to copy it and i'm just going to paste it here and then click on create instance and our instance is created similarly you can specify vllm or any other backend of your choice and once you start it it is just going to take a bit of a time to download the model and then it should become ready sometime while downloading it also shows you the error but don't worry about it it just reloads and then it becomes ready so the model is now being served with llama.cpp on this server which you can access from your apis from your any other tool of your choice if you want to check out the logs you can just click on these three dots and the logs will show you what is happening and this is where the model has been loaded here similarly you can create another instance you can e either go with llama.cpp load another model serve another model or you could maybe just say my whatever the name you want to give let's say you want to serve it with vllm so you will just go here select the type as vllm and then you can just put in your model name here and um, just put in the repo of the model from hugging face so for example if i go here let's say if i go with quen something like that i'm just going to go with a very small model here so let's say i just want to go with this 2.53 billion instruct one and let's go back to the dashboard of llama ctl and that's it so just leave everything else um, create instance and that should create the instance for you and you can just simply start it so you see first time i have started it it is showing error but if you go to logs it is going to show you that it is this is the error which i got and this is how you troubleshoot it so now what this is telling me primarily is that it is probably the vllm xz is not in my path so i'm using ubuntu so i'll just add it to my path variable by exporting it and then restart my um, llama ctl so let me close this and then i will simply stop it i will go back here and then i'm just going to control c and now you can see that both are running at the same time on my local system i'm not sure how much vram they are consuming but let's check quickly so there you go so total i think just touch over 42 gig of vram is being consumed so I can pack more models there and you can tinker with the GPU RAM utilization and the good thing is that if you click on this pencil icon there are a lot of VLLM related parameters if you just click here you can change the context length you can bring it lower if you want more VRAM and there are a lot of VLLM related parameters and there are some LoRa's too and if you want to use it in your application let's first set those um, keys which they exposed in the terminal if you remember something like this i'm just going to grab both the keys i have put them in uh, the environment variables once you have it there you can maybe first let's check which models are being served on our local system 
I'm just going to use this curl command and uh, maybe I will just give it something even more cleaner let's do simple command here instead of the output let's do this there you go so my llama cpp vllm is running and both of these are owned by this and created maybe date something like that and then these are the ids and you can easily use them in your application and if you want to do the inference simply just again with the curl command just call that api endpoint it's an open ai compatible give it a prompt and it is going to give you the result back and it has come back with the response there you go so this is the whole haiku it has done took a bit of a time it has given us the whole slew of response with a lot of metadata which you can use in your application you can even create a streaming so above one was with llama cpp and this is um, the vllm i think i already removed it but i think you got the idea as how you can easily access both of these so that's it let me know what do you think about this new llama ctl pretty interesting i think for uh, playing around and then for test projects seems like a good idea where you don't have, want to have these backends on different systems but of course if you are installing more and more models you would have to make sure that you have that much vram installed please like the video and subscribe to the channel and if you really want to support the channel please become a member as that helps thank you for all the support